Ebola Momo has failed. Why Ebola Momo failed? That's a question a lot of people are asking. That's the first question I myself am asking. A game that is like shining on PlayStation, shining on PC, shining on Xbox, Nintendo, but it failed on mobile. The, the, the platform you would think that the game will succeed the most, it failed at. In this video, we're gonna be talking about why Brawlhalla Mobile failed, so let's get into it. Brawlhalla Mobile is a free-to-play game uh, made by Blue Mammoth. It was released on Android and iOS in August 2020. The game is exactly like the same as PC and PlayStation, except, yeah, you got like controls and uh, joysticks. Not even joysticks, it's, it's, it's joystick in virtual. So the game is cosplay and you can already see the issue here. The mobile players are left with severe disadvantage uh, facing off the PlayStation, uh, Xbox and PC players and even Nintendo players. For a lot of people, this didn't matter on mobile because they're used to playing on mobile a long time, so they just needed to be faster. But being fast was not enough. As you can imagine, a platformer requires you to move your fingers across the screen. And for Brawlhalla, once you get off the platform, your character will go to left or right either. And for you to go to left, your joystick might be placed on left or right. And then your joystick or your hands might be blocking up your character. So you don't see your character where he's falling off and you can't save yourself. This has been my personal issue with playing Brawlhalla Mobile. But let me know in the comments below how you personally play Brawlhalla Mobile. To be honest, Brawlhalla Mobile also lacks like the following components to be successful on mobile. These are competition, performance issues, color scheme, and monetizations. The third one I already talked about a bit, but we will talk about it even more. But first, let's talk about competition first. Brawlhalla Mobile, as you guys know, was released 2020, a year where there were already a number of popular games such as Call of Duty Mobile, Area F2, and even Among Us. Don't ask me why it's on the list, um, but this may have made it difficult for Brawlhalla Mobile to attract a significant number of players on the mobile team, on the mobile community, not team. Performance issues. Some players reported experiencing performance issues with Brawlhalla mobiles such as lag and crashes. Me being one of them, literally every single time I'm in a game, in a ranked game, I'm about to win the game, suddenly I just crash or suddenly I just teleport everywhere. My internet is fine, just server issues. Um, as, far as, as far as we know, Brawlhalla Mobile doesn't have a specific mobile team constantly improving the mobile version. Uh, lastly, let's talk about monetization. Brawlhalla Mobile uses a free-to-play um, model with in-app purchases. Like, trust me, some of the people that already left the game, like e including me on mobile, is because of how expensive the coins are and how expensive the items you get. I think, like, right now, the like easiest way to even get something is like you have to spend like five euro and you will get like 200, 300 mammoth coins, and you can like barely get anything. I think you can you, like get like a chest or like like some chest, a random chest. So it's really, really expensive. And a battle pass will cost you, I think, around 10 euro. So uh, it's it's just expensive, okay? Uh to conclude, these are my personal reasons to why Brawl Up Mobile failed. If you guys have any other reasons, let me know in the comments below. I will make sure that I also read the comments and reply to you. And then also, leave a like on this video. If you like this video, if you hate this video, dislike it if you want. And also comment below why you like it or dislike it. I will see you in the next video. Only then, take care and peace out.